is up, Nuggets? It's your boy, Killer Pizza, here with a brand new video for you rascals and rapscallions out there. Now, I just wanted to hop on here real quick and do a little bit of an unboxing because I have a package from Fat Records. This is my first time ever ordering anything from them. And uh, let me just explain a couple things real quick. Anybody new to my channel that found this video for this unboxing, I just want to let you know, we do talk about a little bit of music and pro wrestling, but this is primarily a horror movie channel, physical media, where we talk about horror flicks from the 70s, 80s, and 90s, all that good shit. And for all my horror hounds out there, Fat Records is the longest running punk rock label in existence, I believe. And it is ran by the lead singer and bass player of NoFX, Fat Mike. No effects is actually my favorite band of all time. And what got me one to order from them is this is the last year No Effects will be touring. They are retiring and it is a very sad day. I've actually never seen them live. And I, I actually just made plans with an old friend of mine last night to go to this two day festival in Ohio. I'm from Detroit, so not too far away. This is the event actually right here. If you want to check that out. And if you're going to be there, Come find me, and we'll uh, go slam dance and hopefully not get hurt because we're all old men now. But anyways, I just got to thinking before I ordered this package that uh, I probably haven't really spoke much about it on this channel, but I used to be big into collecting vinyl records. But my basement flooded, and I did not have my records elevated from the last time I had them stored down there, and all my records got destroyed. So I pretty much stopped collecting. I had so much, and it just broke my heart. And with uh, physical media collecting, it's like I can only do one or the other. I don't have the heart to get back into recollecting all the vinyls I had. So pretty much I've only been buying uh, horror movie soundtracks on vinyls. been kind of my new thing here or there. But I decided I'm going to get every single NoFX uh, studio album, live album, EP, everything they have on vinyl. That is one of my next goals. But anyways, enough of me ranting. Let's just get right into what I got in here. I already opened it just to make sure I got everything. I'm going to save the records for last. I got three records and I grabbed some other fun goodies while I was on the site. Always wanted one of these shirts, so I picked one up. Got the logo on the front. Fat Records. This is the long sleeve. I've been kind of getting into some long sleeve shit lately, but this shirt will be funny. Anybody who doesn't know. Fat records when I wear this in public. They're going to be, oh, fat, which I am a bit fat, so I'll take it. I'll represent. Now, this is a really cool shirt based off one of my favorite EPs by No Effects. Look at this. So much randomness on here. Then the back, 30 years. Still at the end of the longest line, and that's no effects in the bottom. I just thought this was pretty cool. So, grabbed a couple more goodies. And also, guys, by the way, my uh, Astronomicon video, I went uh, a week from today, last week actually, last Saturday. I have it all edited up. It's coming out tomorrow at noon, so be ready for that. And then fun story here. I grabbed this. I have this open spot right on my wall where, uh, in case you guys didn't know, I'm a huge L.A. sports fan. I've been my whole life. And I used to have this L.A. Dodgers flag hung up in this one particular spot. And my wall, I'm looking at it right now, it's blank. Because I always take it down. If In case anybody didn't know also, I am an independent professional wrestler out of Detroit. And I'm one half of the Cream Street Mafia. I'm actually wearing the hoodie right now. But... Part of the gimmick I'm in, we play like L.A. Street Thugs, and I bring the L.A. flag out as part of my gimmick. You can see in a photo right here. And it pretty much got to the point where I was just washing this this flag and just taking it off my wall, folding it up, washing it, packing it, rewashing it, hanging it back up. And I thought, this is just going to stay in my gear bag because it's just like a part of my gear now. So I have this open space on my wall, and I decided to represent right here. This is really cool. That record's hard to see. How cool is that? Love the color on it. Yeah, I, I highly suggest checking out anything from Fat Records. The oldest punk label in existence. A lot of really good bands have been on there. Like Face to Face, Slagwagon, uh, Bomb Pops I really like. Bad Cop, Bad Cop. 
Drawing a blank, too. Okay, now on to the records. Now, honestly, I didn't really know where to start. So right here, my favorite EP, one of my favorite songs by No Effects, The Longest Line. Look at that. Beautiful. Same as on the back. I don't know what made him go with like this kind of artwork, but it's so I, iconic. It's really different from a lot of the other artwork they've done. I got this really badass uh, no effects vinyl box set that went out of print real quick. I bought it. It's, I'm going to get it in July. It's like all these 10 inches, all the small records, and it's one side is like a demo version of a each song on the new album that's coming out, and then the other side's an acoustic version. They all come in their own individual slips and sleeves. So that's going to be pretty cool. All right, let's see. Just a standard record here. The LP. I'm glad I grabbed this, too. Okay. Got more in here. Oh, yeah. I love this type of shit. The inner notes. That's what it's all about right there. Yeah, you guys, like, don't you kind of miss, like, records and CDs? Like, it was CDs for me growing up. Same with, like, why we get physical media. Like, I remember I used to love, like, going in to the booklet and looking up all the lyrics. Because you couldn't just look it up as easily back then. All the, the fo photos and stuff and, and the thanks and all that type of shit. Just something I missed. And, you know, I could easily stream... All this shit on Spotify, which I do anyways, but I just, I love this band. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to recollect all their uh, records on vinyl, you know what I mean? And, and that I could actually support the band and the label itself. I thought that was pretty cool. And this is actually a live version of their third album. I believe it's their third album, No Effects Ribbed, Live in a Dive. It's like a comic book. There's all the tracks on there. Green Corn, one of my favorites. There's a lot of good ones. This this is still the earlier shit, but this actually has quite a bit of range. Just like some reggae songs on here and shit. Because they used to be a pretty heavy band when they first started. Now I'd say that they're more just based off rhythm more than anything. That's what Fat Mike always says, that to play music you don't have to be good. You just have to make good songs. If I could get this fucking record open. Come on. There we go. Yeah, no effects. If you've never seen them live, I mean, I haven't either. They're funny as hell on stage. Actually, Blink-182 kind of stole their joking banter from no effects. Like this. Artwork up there. It's cool. Here's the vinyl. Now I wanted to open this because I believe this came with a poster. I'm not sure though. Oh wow. Wow. This is way cooler than I thought it would be. There's a big ass poster. What's on this side? Look at that. And damn, look at this is a big ass poster. Fuck yeah, and look at this side, guys. You guys, I'm. I'm super pumped about the poster. I figured it was just going to be just the uh, the album artwork, but that is fucking sick. Hell yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, this is something you can look up on YouTube, this live performance. This is fucking incredible. No effects, the decline. It was live at the Red Rocks. This, they got a whole orchestra with them too, with the Baz Orchestra. We don't got to get political with all the shit what this song's about. It was originally made about George Bush. But, you know, 
Like what you like, just don't be a dick. Rock and roll fucking rules. And this is awesome because a thing with punk music is a lot of their songs are like a minute long, two minutes long, but this is one song on here. I believe it's 19 minutes and something. It's like a 20-minute punk song. And I watched it, I watch it all the time. I watched the live version last night. It's like I could get emotional watching that shit. Like, like especially at the end when they're fully locked in the jam, you could just see the happiness on everyone in the band's face. And they're actually gonna play. They're actually gonna play the decline. Oh wow, that's cool. They're actually gonna play the decline at this festival I'm going to the second day, which that's gonna be like a life changing moment for me. It's got linole linoleum, which is like a play on linoleum, on uh, one side. Look at that. It's all just one solid track. How dope is that, though? So, that is what I picked up from Fat Records. I got The Decline Live. The Longest Line. Live in a Dive. Which, as, as I've shown you, it comes with that dope poster. I got me my uh, Fat Records flag. And these two pieces of garments. So, yes, very satisfied with what I picked up. Uh, let me know if any of you guys collect vinyl records or your thoughts on that or anything. And uh, if you guys just check this out because of the Fat Records unboxing, if you like horror flicks, check out some of my other videos. We talk about, like I said, all the good shit from the 70s, 80s, 90s. And anybody on the horror side of it, if this is more stuff you'd like me to do, talk about music because that is my second... Second passion, I don't know, third, I don't, they're all even, man. Fucking movies, pro wrestling, and music. But anyways, yeah, a little something different, but that was awesome. I can't wait to spin these. Like I said, be ready tomorrow. I'm going to do my uh, Astronomicon video. Got some footage inside, went there with a couple friends of mine. Pop, uh, pop culture convention, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, that'll be up at noon tomorrow. Other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Blood, guts, gore, I'll check you next time.